Psalm 71, 18 says, So even to old age and gray hairs, O God, do not forsake me, until I proclaim of your might to another generation, and your power to all those to come. Psalm 71, 18. David had a heart that desired for all to come to know God. He wanted his life mission to be about drawing others to him and being able to speak and express the God that he knew to others. And David had this heart passion to want to do this throughout his whole life. He didn't pray and ask that in his old age he would uh, be able to have freedom and uh, leisure and would just be able to coast on for the rest of his life until he goes to heaven. But he wanted to continue to proclaim of who God was and who God is to those around him. And we need to have the same desire as him. We need to be willing to use our lives as vessels by which the Holy Spirit can work in and through to speak of our Heavenly Father and what he has done for us and where he desires to take us. Because if we don't do this, we're going to easily fall into a floundering situation where we are going to just coast on and hit a spiritual flatline and we really won't have any desire to continue to press into God. Because if we have a desire for others to know about God and know about this book and what this book has revealed of who God is, then we are going to desire naturally to want to know more about God because the more we want to show others God, the more we press into knowing God, and the more we know about God, the more we want to share uh, to others about what God has revealed and who God is. And so we need to have the heart cry as David did and be willing that he would not forsake us and that he would protect us even into old age, that he would bless us with the longevity of life and that through that longevity of life, we would not see huge blocks of years go by where we did absolutely nothing for the kingdom. And we, we may have done what was uh, necessary. We may have stayed in the faith clearly, but we didn't press in or press beyond what the Lord was calling us to. Rather, we just stayed in complacent scenario that was easy for us because we didn't want any hardship. And that life is just going to be very sad to view on that final judgment day when the Lord gave the blessing of longevity of life, which not everyone has. No one is promised tomorrow. And yet we have many people who have gone into their 70s and 80s and you look at what they, they allowed the Holy Spirit to do in and through them and you look at their desire and eagerness to know God and there were just huge blocks of decades of years where there was no desire to know God more and they were just satisfied with where they were uh, when in reality as long as we're living on this earth, we can continue to grow in deeper understanding and revelations of who God is. God wants to do more in and through us than we can imagine or think. This doesn't mean huge plans in the world's eyes, but it means a purposeful plan in God's eyes, and that's what counts. So we need to be willing to recognize that there's a blessing and there's a reason why we have lived this long and we are going to continue to do so. And we need to start seeking the face of God and desire that he would change us internally to have a new eagerness and willingness to want to share him to others. And even if that's just one other person who gets saved, my goodness, the angels rejoice over that. It doesn't always need to be this big, massive platform, but we need to not just be... Uh, lackadaisical in the faith and just be willing to go on our day in day out usual routine and then we lo and behold uh, a year later we we see that wow I really haven't spent time in the word or spent time with the Lord because there are people out there dying there are souls going to hell and we need to be willing to set aside our uh, complacency and our, our ease of life and our comfort and we need to be willing to be vulnerable with others and to go out there and share the good news to those around us and this doesn't mean you have to preach a whole sermon to people people can know us by our love and by our fruits but we must be willing to utilize the years that God has given us for his glory alone and through that we know that he is protecting us for a reason and that through that we will be able to share all of who God is and what he has done for us in hopes that other people may partake 
in the wonderful, blessed gift of the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.